Hi, I'm Charu Sharma. I founded a few companies in Silicon Valley. I invest in startups and I mentor founders around the world. So in this series, I'm going to answer the most commonly asked questions from founders. What happens if your company fails? My company failed. I had raised a lot of money from VCs. And so for a VC backed company, success means a meaningful exit where everyone makes returns from their money invested. The startup was my baby and to suddenly have it not exist was extremely painful. To let all my employees go, to end the contracts with all our clients, to you know share the news with my investors. It felt like I was breaking up with all of these people one by one. I cried on most of these calls um, and they cried on most of the calls because I had picked investors, customers, employees that were just generous people who cared about each other. And I also realized that I was completely depleted at a personal level and an emotional level because I had just given and given and given to my, my employees, my co-founder, my investors, my customers. And then I took a month off to just give to myself, give to Charu and not my company. I traveled. I had days when my goal would be to do nothing. It's really hard to do nothing. After a month, I started to feel a little better and I started to think about what do I want to do with my time? And of course, I thought about maybe going to go get a job. Um, I thought about traveling more. I thought about other projects. And I decided to not rush into a job or starting my next company because essentially I had come out of a long-term relationship or marriage. And it was important to take some time to just be with myself or maybe even date around a little bit. And so I decided to take a gap year where in sprints, I'm working on different projects that are meaningful to me. So uh, the first three months, I made a couple of documentary films, one on actually startups failing and what that means for founders. It's called I Want to Believe. The second is on working moms. So I got married last year. I've been thinking a lot about when they would want kids, uh, what that would mean for my career. And this turned into a documentary film, which is now being screened at over a thousand places around the world in 2020. In my second sprint, I'm actually writing a book with Nora Denzel to help women navigate their careers. Um, in my third phase, I will be working on some prototypes with a biomedical engineer. And as I work on these things, I'm also traveling on and off to the extent my financial situation uh, permits. It was important for me in my personal journey to realize that the company had failed as defined by someone else, but I get to define what's important to me. I get to define if something is a success or a failure. And I actually think my company was such a success because I couldn't be more grateful for the journey I had and for where this startup has put me in my own career in life. Before closing it, I actually ran an acquisition process for a month, negotiating with different companies who could have potentially acquired my last startup. Ultimately, we realized we didn't find the right alignment and it made a lot of sense to just close my company. I shut it down at absolutely the right time and I did it in a, in a very poised and graceful way with a lot of integrity and transparency. I actually came out as a stronger entrepreneur by having closed my company than by starting that company. As a daily person, I mean, I had five national awards by the time I was 19 years old and I've always wanted to win. And I think having failed, failed, um, actually took this huge burden off of my shoulder and it's really helped me grow up as an adult and think more about what's a life well lived for me. Feeling more comfortable in my own skin and feeling more empowered to define success for myself and pursuing things in a way that matters to me. It's, it's actually made me a stronger entrepreneur. It's actually increased my risk appetite. I do live in Silicon Valley where failure isn't looked upon as a failure. It just means that you have the guts to go out and try something and fail. I get job offers all the time. Absolutely no one wrote me off. Investors are waiting for me to start my next company so they can write me a check. People are waiting so they can come work for me when I start my next company. So whether in a startup or in life in your, or in your career, um, I actually really hope that you fail at least one time. Um, Cause I promise you that that will just, um, that will just completely change your life for the better. I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. And if you have other questions, go ahead and comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Ciao.